ball up and Brown then put the ball down. So we'll have a scrum. And Scotland, I think, Murray, just a little impatient when they have ball in hand. They know they're going to find holes in this Romanian defence. It's a matter of time, but just little plays not going their way. Well, that's right. And also not running onto the ball, I thought, the task from Jackson. He was behind the player. And it throws out the rhythm. And when you lose rhythm in your midfield, in fact, you saw it last night with the All Blacks playing Tonga in the midfield in the second half. The All Blacks losing just a bit of rhythm. Deep breathing. Because it's a beautiful thing with them. You're talking about rhythm on the rugby field, Scotty. When you see rhythm, rhythm and flow between them, particularly midfield and wings combining, it's just a, it's a lovely sight. Touch. Well, it's more like the Blues at the moment for Scotland. However, they're in the right end of the field. Romania, another good scrum. They've been solid in this facet of the game. Karpo off the back again. Demofta in from second five. Takes the pass. Now Rasakye. Another strong charge from the bearded second rower. Scotland all over the ball. Brown again it was. Making a real nuisance of himself. Inside flick from Tanitsa and another Shepherd. Well, it wasn't the time to cut, though, was it? It was a late cut, and he ran yeah. right into his own player. But really, I think he should have stayed wide and used Tinker as a supporting player. Okay. Just have a little look at this. He called the cut, but it was not. It certainly was not. There's a lot of numbers, too, from the Scottish defence, too. Tinku, the captain. There he is, the veteran captain. Played in a number of World Cups, this okay. man. And as Scott Stevenson mentioned, he's a bit of a legend up in the, in the, in the great country of Romania. He's got a great build for a, for a hooker, hasn't he? You know, one of those builds where your head sits on top of your shoulders. No room for a neck. I cut out the middleman, Murray. Here's Ford with the throw. And well taken by Brown. Blair with all sorts of room to work in again. Pass Just not held. Numbers. Chance for Romania. And the kick is made. And this one will hold up and float about and then drift towards the touchline. Max Evans stays in field, cleverly so. And then Romania all over the top of Richie Vernon. So they force the turnover eventually. There's an awkwardness and a clunkiness about the way Scotland are approaching this game at the moment. And each time they make a mistake, Romania... <laughs> Just get a little more nerve. Yes, you sense they're growing a little bit in confidence, do you? They're defending well. And apart from a couple of tries around the fringes, their tight defence has been good. Scrum's going well. And now they'll set them all. They've been the most optimistic of players. I think this was a winnable game, but Romania at the moment are showing no signs of accepting defeat, that is for sure. They've driven the Scotland pack all the way into their own half, and they've now won an advantage oh, and the penalty. Brilliant play, Romania. And Serbu as well, the forwards up front, but Serbu was doing the talking. He was the eyes for those forwards. When you buried your heads down and you're in that driving position, you can't see the opposition, you can't see where you're going. You need that, that half-back to communicate. Well, you've got to play to your strengths and to the wind, don't you? They're playing into a strong wind here. They kept it tight. The ball was held by Daniel Carball, the number eight, at the end. And that's an outstanding play. Just look at this here. And this is the confidence you mentioned, Murray, of the Romanians. They're a little bit lower, and they've really fractured the Scottish defence. Well, I think that's an indication of how they should play the remaining match. I mean, what they should do right now, because they're inside the 22, is take the ball down and drive it exactly the same again. Wouldn't be the first time the Rugby Park crowd has seen that style no. of play, Murray. <laughs> no, no. Not with the local Southland side. Oh, the nostalgia of the 60s. Murray <laughs> next is having a flashback here. Tinku's got the ball. Now Karpo. Another strong run from him. Physical man picked up by Lazar. This is definitely their game. Pick and go. They're just 10 short of the line. The Romanians. Now Scotland being caught upon to make their tackles. The Romanian back line remains unemployed for the time being. Lazar again. 
Yeah, I think that's the thing to do, just keep on plugging away like this. As we're talking about the conference food and try, they need it. It's 15-6. That would make a big difference going into halftime. Picked up by Tunitsa now. Barclays on him. And the ball is still there for the Oaks. They are just seven metres short of the Scottish line as we tick up to 30 minutes gone in this match. Pick and drive from Usakye. Just short of the line now. It is a yellow wave of attack. And they'll get the scrum feed too, five metres out. Yellow wave, all I see is orange shorts. Bodies because bodies the balls in the air are not scrum side going forward. It's head down and bums up. Their style there and effective. Well, what was that? A 20, about a 22 metre exercise right from the line out. Well, we've got to take it maybe back to their own 10 metre line. They drove Scotland up over the halfway. Got the penalty. the penalty. Stuck it out inside the 22 just. And now it's. So I'm picking here that the number eight, because he has detached a couple of times. I'm picking here that Kato will pick it up and go right. He's not bad off the back. Captain, let's go. He's been given a platform to work with too. Mm, Stand yes. aside, well, be interesting to see if they have the ability to get their tight head up a bit. Just to give them a little bit more angle. Matthew Cooper, sideline, and the Romanians directly behind you, Matthew, are certainly oh, letting themselves be known. They are fantastic. There is a good group here that have obviously travelled, and there's a lot of uh, Southlanders who are supporting them as well, and wouldn't this just open up the rugby, uh, not, not the rugby World Cup, if the Romanians can get across this line? Oh, yeah, the locals would love it. Because they really are the underdogs, aren't they? You have to say, look, and they're putting it on the scrum too. Big oh, way, oh, and oh. the penalty. They want another scrum, I'm sure, after that one. You'd have to. Well, the psychology here too, you know. Under pressure, got the floor. So they said before the game, we're going to put it on the Scottish in the scrum, and they're doing just that. Oh, he's going to kick for goal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. What do you think, Matthew? The way I would have, when I saw them all hugging and giving themselves a big pat on the back there, I think these guys wanted to have another crack at the Scottish eight. And, uh, you know, they're going for the points. So you got one here before that'll take them up to 15-9. Half an hour of the game gone. And, guys, they're going into a strong win. So <laughs> this is this is a good start from the Romanians. A wonderful work, wasn't on this side, from oh, yes. Mieritza, Alexandru Lazar. Just a minute, I'm just going to put my head out the window. Give it a go, guys! In a test match rugby. Romania want the points. This will put them within a converted try of Scotland. 32 minutes gone here at Rugby Park Stadium in Invercargill, Rugby World Cup 2011. Well, the last kick here from uh, Dumbreva. He just, just aimed to the right, slightly to the right of the middle here. It's coming straight into his face. And uh, this would be a great reward if he can bang over and take it to nine. Dumbreva. No, just to the left. Just to the left. So they come away with naught to show for all their good work. Yeah, and now it proves that we were right, doesn't it? They didn't even get the three, so they should have had another scrum. But who knows, from this 22. So Stay Scotland, close. they'll be wanting Stay. to get out of this territory. They've got a small lead, probably not as good as it should be with the ascendancy that they've held. Big chase line here, Osaka not up to the task. He could hear Richie Gray's hoof prints coming towards him. No advantage, first defence off yellow, second one came off legs, no advantage. And so the scrum feed will go to Scotland. Richie Gray gets a pat on the back from his captain, Alistair Kellock. I could hear him running from up in the commentary box. But inexcusable really to drop that. Quite frankly, there's nothing tough about it. He's plotted his copybook. He's had a solid start to this match. Valentin, Nikolai, Osakie. Touch. Yeah, he lost the ball a couple Horse. of times, I thought, in the ruck, actually. Sorry, Scotty. So hard to win. You've got to keep hold of it. Scrum screw. Romania have the ball. Scrum's magnificent. Lazar has it. Sets it now. Serbu. Whoa, Kick that's... over the top. Chases on here. Oh, and the bounce, oh, it's a penalty offside play is the call from Dave Pearson. And he didn't need it either because... Oh, Stefan Chuntu. Great call. 
So it was a premeditated call. But he was just in front of the ball carrier. Let's have a look here. Touch and go though, but maybe half a metre. Beaten by the bounce anyway. Well, they've got a few tricks up their sleeves, Murray. Well, he's a powerful looking boy, isn't he? For a yeah, big man. Keep coming, yellow, please step. That's for you. Ross Ford then will have the throw. Scotland. Seems an age since they've had any real meaningful possession. And they get it through the skipper here. Blair now out to Jackson. Midfield run. Brown being called upon to do plenty of that this afternoon. Change of direction, and the switch is on for Patterson. Now Max Evans. Thought about offloading, but took the ball to ground. Now there again for Jackson. Jackson's throwing some sharp balls in midfield today. And we'll have a pause and play Two here. First one off blue. They've got Second some players off. though in their back line, yeah. Scotland, just looking at them. Three or four guys that can really play with the ball. Now, Lamont's obviously the sort of player that's going to break through. But Jackson, obviously Patterson, Ansbro, they can all move, they can all play. So that's what they should be doing. They should be getting ball going forward and letting them cut loose. Because this team too, Scotland, they have got some challenges ahead of them in this tournament. Georgia next, then Argentina, then England. And they'll have to be on top of their game going into those three. Horse, engage. Oh, oh, oh. feeds the ball. Oh, oh. Scrum has collapsed. Oh, oh. Rear collapse today. Scrum yeah, going to come across. He's been good so Just far. A issue, Just a couple it? of resets in the match. There's tartan in the streets, you know. Oh. Everywhere you go, there's tartan. Let's go. Let's go, lads. Let's go. It's amazing. Okay, All the Let's Scottish go. flags, Let's Scotland the brave, okay. written everywhere. Bind up, please, pair of you. Crouch. Red hair. Lots of red here. Mind you, there's a fair bit of Scottish heritage down here in the deep south. I was going to say, some of it wigs. There's some. There's a sprinkling of Josh in the south of New Zealand, that is for sure. Of course, for those not familiar with New Zealand's geography, Dunedin, just a couple of hours up the road. There's a very Scottish town. In fact, can't get more Scottish. And just so you really know where Invercargill it is, is the closest city to the South Pole. How about that? Good fact. Yeah. Not, well, it's, uh, not the two people are going there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's that tight head for Romania. He got uh, called for, for boring in on the angle. The tight head and a chance for Patterson. And he'll be just hoping the tee works again for him. A straightforward kick for Patterson. And... Walika Jong, another member of this Romanian side playing rugby overseas. This club, London Irish. So he'd be familiar with Joe Ansbro. As Patterson looks to add three more. And the kick is good. Scotland stretch again. 18 plays six now. Courtesy of a scrum penalty. Well, in the old days, of course, if you were Scottish, you wouldn't be playing for London Irish. You'd be playing for London Scottish. But it's professional rugby today. And sometimes the heritage comes second, I guess. Depends who you are. Restart made and just taken by Jackson. And the clearance made. And we'll have a line out around about the halfway mark. Romania defeat. Two minutes short. And we're two minutes shy of the halftime break here in Invercargill. Scotland enjoying a 12-point lead. Luka Townsend looking rather concerned. Yeah, well, Alistair Kellogg has to grab hold of this game and get a bit of structure back in it for Scotland. They really need to, to win a ball here. They don't want to score before half-time, in my mind. Tinkus throws a good one. Tanitsa to Lazar. Now is Sakye. Good run this time from the big lock forward. Here's Tinku. They're under advantage, Romania. Up to the 10-metre line. They would dearly love to score before the break. Tanitsa once more. Pick and drive play has been good today from the Romanians. And they do in fact come back for the penalty. And Dumbrava surely now will look to add three more from the tee. Tinku slow to his feet and back plate. Yeah, quite a long way, Scotty. That's the what are they looking to do? They're trying to see if they can get a line out here, the Romanians. Yeah, they're looking 
for the three points. Can you yeah. kick that 